so hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to discuss all about amazon hack on which is a way for you to get a full time or an internship opportunity with amazon and also win some great cash prizes so if you are a college student then do watch this video till the end and before we get started one small request don't forget to subscribe to the channel we have already crossed 5500 subscribers and your subscri subscription means a lot to me and when you subscribe to my channel it makes it makes me more motivated to make more videos so with that let's get started and this is going to be the most detailed video on internet right now for amazon hack on so first of all uh, what are the cash prizes so if you win uh, you will get 1 lakh rupees if you are the first runner up that is your second you will get 75000 third runner up 50000 and the top 8 finalist team will get mentorship and swag for the top 8 teams apart from that you will also get uh, although it's not mentioned here but most of the people do get calls for interview with amazon if they participate well if they do well in this hackathon so you might get a call for uh, an internship opportunity or a full time opportunity based on which batch you are currently in based on your years of experience so i think that's why you should definitely apply and if you win you will also get to experience a day at amazon coming to the next part uh, so registration deadline 15 days are left so i'll give the link in the description apply as soon as possible a lot of 10000 people have already registered for this so you also do register uh coming to the next part eligibility screening uh is before the coding round so they will screen whether you are actually eligible or not then there will be a coding round 29th may 12 to 9 pm this will be the window and then id submission id submission 31st may to 9 june prototype submission 13 june to 22 july and mentorship and finally grand finale so this will end on 2nd july but the registrations are open right now so go and apply coming to the eligibility criteria and team formation uh first of all you need to check uh, the eligible institute so not all colleges are eligible for this contest so you can check if your college is eligible or not on the unstop website uh so if you go to this link i'll provide it in the description you can see eligible institutes right so here you can search if your institute is eligible or not uh, so if you see most iits are eligible uh, coming to triple it uh, allahabad delhi bangalore hyderabad these are eligible vit is eligible uh, manipal university manipal manipal etc they are all there amrita is there uh, jp noida etc a lot of you know colleges uh, if you see okay so you can just google here and you will find so go to the answer website and uh, click on the eligible institute part and you will be able to see this coming back uh, graduation year should be 2026 and 2027 so only these graduation years are eligible degree should be either btech mtech or integrated world degree that's btech plus mtech or mca and eligible branches are computer science information technology electrical electronics and similar branches like you know mathematics and computing cs with ai all these branches uh, core branches like mechanical civil they are most likely not eligible coming to the next part 6.5 cgp and above throughout the under graduation so 6.5 cgp and this is for all the members so all the members should have cgp above 6.5 then each team must be made up of 2 to 4 members right team size should be 2 to 4 members uh, so that's the thing participants can be member of one team only you cannot participate in multiple teams and team members can be from different colleges different years different courses etc if you have a disability uh, say if you cannot see or something like that you can message uh, unstop and they'll try to accommodate and yeah cgp is mandatory for all team members so this is the eligibility criteria uh next up we'll have the coding challenge so this will be for everyone so everyone who is eligible of course so duration will be 100 minutes that's 1 hour 40 minutes and you'll be asked three coding questions plus multiple mcqs so i'll tell in the next slide what these questions can be each member has to participate and qualify so 
try to take people in your team who are good at coding because if they are not good at coding then you will not be able to clear this round then shortlisted teams proceed to the next stage only if all the members pass even if you do not qualify for the next round you may be contacted for interview later so maybe it's possible that you know you did very well in the coding contest but maybe your teammates did not do that well right or whatever so in that case also i know people who were contacted a few days later by amazon you know they got an email that are you interested in an opportunity with amazon so even if you are not so confident go and give this coding challenge because this can actually lead you to getting an internship or a full time opportunity maybe not through hack hack on but you might just get a mail later on so definitely give your best in this round and then the results will be declared within two working days so working days as in monday to friday and questions can be different for everyone so that's one thing you need to keep in mind it's not necessary that questions will be same for everyone uh, so yeah don't try to cheat or whatever and uh, yeah so be prepared very well right uh, so it's not like if three of you if you are three team members and all of you are giving the test one by one the questions most likely will be different for all of you right and what can be the questions uh, so i have actually found i have actually searched the entire internet and you know taken out all the previous year questions here so first of all as i mentioned here there'll be three coding questions and multiple mcqs so there'll be 20 last year there were 20 mcqs based on c c++ java data structures algorithm so questions were mcq based some patterns were there like you know find a missing code or something like that and the level will not be that hard so this these are mcq questions are usually very easy and usually there is no negative marking here coming to the three coding questions so they can range from medium lead code medium to lead code hard so let me just show you a few these are like a few code forces geek for geek uh, some youtube links all of these uh, they are all the questions that were actually asked in hackon so let me show so this is one uh, that i found uh, this is online assessment problems so you can see there are already like a uh, seven problems are here so one is like yeah there's some salary calculation some higher priority office something like that and then there is problem 2 so you can see the problems are kind of cp based like there's a whole story and then the problem is there uh and you have to find the shortest path from the first intern to the most recently referred intern right and then so on there are many problems here so go ahead and check this blog out i'll provide all the links so i'll provide the links uh, in the description so you can just go ahead and open all of these and you know practice these questions at least so you get an idea about what kind of questions can be asked and this is the most important round because most people i think get rejected here only so if your team is able to clear the coding challenge round then there'll be the next round that is the idea submission round So in the ID submission, uh, you have to select a theme. So there will be real world Amazon challenges. The themes are not currently released, but they will release them then. Uh, so you have to submit your PPT in like PPT or Word or PDF format, and then templates and guidance will be provided on Unstop. Themes will be similar to the real world problems that are faced by Amazon, and 65 teams will be selected for the next round. So after the ID submission, uh, a lot of teams will go for ID submission, but only 65 teams will proceed to the next round. That is a prototype round. Okay. Uh, and i have actually included the presentation so season 4 season 3 season 1 winners presentation you can go ahead and have a look uh, so do check this out because i think this is going to be very useful uh, and some other presentations so all the presentations i could find i have linked them here um, i open and show you one so this is one of the presentation uh, that is like winners presentation season 3 so this is like some green environmental friendly products that you can buy on amazon so i think this is a uh, great you know presentation uh, go ahead and have a look i did not really get time to see it but i am pretty sure it's going to be great because this is the winners presentation right so out of so many 30000 30 40000 people this presentation was the one that got selected so go do go ahead and check this out uh, so idea submission the most important part you need to keep in mind is you know that uh, you should try to solve a problem uh that actually amazon faces so it's good to read about amazon also what kind of work they do what are they thinking of doing in the future and then you need to make the ppt should be very good very eye catching very eye pleasing and everything so because there will be like so many ppts hundreds of ppts so the ppt should look very good and the you know idea should be very nicely presented everything so 
uh, you can, I would suggest that you have a look at all these presentations so you get an idea about how a presentation should be. Coming to the next phase, prototype phase. So if you get selected in this, like 65 teams around got selected last year. In this, you have to make a prototype, like, you know, just based on your idea, whatever idea you had, now you have to uh, make a viable product for it. Like maybe not all the features, but at least a minimum viable product should be there to show that, you know, okay, this is how it can be done. So when you will present this prototype presentation of your two Amazon tech, tech leaders and feedback will be provided, nine to 10 teams will be shortlisted from here. So this is also important round from 65 to only nine to 10 teams will be shortlisted for the next round. That's the finale round. So winning team prototype, you can have a look. Uh, so as you can see, this is a drone delivery. And this was one of the winning teams in, I think, 2021. So yeah, but I think this is still relevant. So drone delivery route planning system. And uh, go ahead and have a look. This is by team flip flops. Uh, so that was it for the prototype phase. Uh, and once if you actually clear the prototype phase, if the Amazon people like your prototype, then you will be in the finale round. Uh, basically, nine to 10 teams will be selected for the next round. That is a mentorship. So they will be provided some mentorship by dedicated Amazon mentors, people from Amazon. They'll tell you about you know how to refine your idea, how to plan strategically, and how to present your presentation, right? So how to prepare and do good presentation. So these kind of things. So great learning here. Finally, you will be given the chance. These top nine, 10 teams will be in the grand finale and they'll show their solutions, their people to a jury of Amazon leaders from AWS, that's Amazon Web Services, Alexa, and Amazon Pay. And this will be online. Uh, and this is where the winners will be chosen. So these, you know, if you get chosen, you'll get cash prizes. You'll also get interview opportunities and most importantly, you will get to learn a lot of things. And uh, these are the top, you know, season four, season three, season one winners presentation. So go ahead and have a look at this. And um, I'm pretty sure this will help you to, you know, just get an idea of how, what Amazon is looking for. Finally, I've also added some links that I found on the internet, uh, some medium blogs of winners and, you know, some GitHub links, some presentations, etc. cetera. So uh, I think these, these will be pretty useful for anyone, even if you're like, in the first round idea submission phase, you'll just get an idea on what kind of ideas actually win. So this will be useful to you. Um, so do check this out. That's it for this video, guys. And I hope this will help you. And if you have not registered yet, link will be in the description. Apply uh, ASAP. And more importantly, uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel because it gives me a lot of motivation. So with that, signing off, meet you in another video. Bye-bye. If you have any more questions, do drop them in the link below.